Hey guys, welcome to Fallout New Vegas. I'm Purist, and uh, we just got rid of the Night King from uh, yesterday, as well as a errant radio signal that just randomly got played through my pit boy, freaked everyone out, freaked myself out. And also the demons living inside my head. I mean, what? Um. Yeah. So, we're supposed to meet uh, Jason down in the basement. And he will tell us what's going to um, happen, apparently. I think the basement is where we were previously. Oh, I think I got the wrong way. That's the long way. I want the short way. The short way is down where the... There are bodies there. Yeah. Wait. What is that over that? Go the long way round. Come on. Are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> awesome. I guess. Where the heck am I supposed to go, though? Damn it, I think I'm lost. Damn it. Oh, 
I know. Here I am. Okay, cool. Right, no. It's not where you go. Yep. Go through here. Through the basement. speak with you one last time before I descend into the launch pad, Wanderer. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the Great Journey. Our preparations are nearly complete, but the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. Of course they are. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Are you seriously going to make your great journey on these rockets? Yes. The rockets will convey us to our promised land in the far beyond. Vision upon vision has confirmed it. Look, those rockets are ancient. They will convey you and your fox straight to the ground. I understand your concerns, friend, and I thank you for voicing them. But the Creator's will for us has been made manifest. Okay. What is this far beyond? I have glimpsed it only in visions, Wanderer, but what I have seen is truly miraculous. It is a place of light and healing, and I know in my soul that my flock will be safe there. Okay, um... By the way... Let's talk about Chris, because he thinks he's a ghoul, and that's not healthy. After all that you have done for us, I suppose you deserve to know everything. When Chris came to us, we tried to convince him that he was human, but this only angered him. He seemed lost. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days, over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. It became clear that the oh. Creator had sent him to us to ensure the success of the Great Journey. Equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed ignorance of this humanity and his inability to make the journey himself. It is no coincidence that two humans have been vital to the success of the Great Journey. It is my belief that the Creator sent you and Chris to expiate the sins of your kind against mine. You are redeemers both. So, you're going to leave Chris behind? And does he know that he's going to be left behind? Such is the Creator's will. Vision upon vision has shown me that were Chris to accompany us, he would die in minutes. The radiation around the launch pad alone would kill Chris in minutes. The radioactivity of the far beyond is much stronger. You've been kind of using him. It's Kinda of fucked up, man. It is the creator's will, and I must submit. There is no malice in him. We would take him with us if we could. Alright. Goodbye, Jason. May you found salvation, you great beyond, I guess. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Hmm. Hey there. 
Hi. Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the great journey. So, um, how can I help? I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. Alright. Uh, I'll track down the igniting agent. May as well get the most dangerous one out of the road first. Very well. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. That sounds a lot. Can you give me any tips for this task? Repcon has been ransacked so many times by scavengers, it's hard to know where the components might turn up. If they turn up. Jason has mentioned some industrial ruins to the east that are supposed to be highly radioactive. Okay, time for me to go. Later. All right. Yes, I need a. Oh! Oh shit! Okay, screw that hat. Oh, I buff out. Buff out increases strength. May as well. 110. Yeah, about, um, using drugs. Um, see, this is a video game. And, <laughs> um,. Don't you use those because Yeah. I think that's it. Yeah. Now where would this take me out to? Oh, it's a night. Oh, that's radioactive. Can I, um... Oh, so it's back here. Okay. Now. Where's the map telling me to go? 
Uh. Ah, just over here. Okay. It's right nearby the Novak. Just quick save. Oh. Now I look like a right jackass. But they told me I was red resistance. So I may as well. Oh shit, that's a... What is that? It's a golden gecko. Oh, nice. Mr. Radical's journal. Lol. Oh, what the fuck? That's. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. You're useless to me. Was this the key? Uh, you done some misc. Pardon me. I need one. Yep. There we go. It's a bloat fly. Uh, he's not watching my direction. Right, let's go back to Repcom. No, I don't want to set my marker. Yes. Hmm. 
mine. Hey, you found the igniting yes. agent. Have you found the components we discussed? Well, I found an entire container of the igniting agent. Yes, that's the stuff. And the container shielding must be intact or you'd be dead by now. Great. Now all I need is the thrust control modules. Alright. Now, where can I get that? Scavengers wouldn't know the value of the modules just by looking at them. If you know any junk dealers in the area, I'd start there. Okay. Thanks. Bye. You're so helpful. Oh, yeah, the. Yeah, it will be like junk, and you just randomly come across it. Yeah, thanks, fake ghoul fucker. I'm not even annoyed that they're not going to take them with you to the great beyond or whatever. Honestly, fuck him. Come on. There we Where's the map pointing me though? Okay, it's pointing me just north of Novak. No, no. Don't set my marker. Travel to. Thank you. Fucking old school technology, don't know shit. What's this place? It's a junkyard. Gibson Strap Yard. Oh, hello, doggo. Basura. Hello, doggo. Hello. Another doggo! Raina! Oh, you're the pretty name. Yeah. Oh, so many dogs. Ray! Oh, got me. Uh, excuse me. Gibson. Sorry for waking you. Hi there. I'm Old Lady Hi. Gibson, or so they tell me. I've got odds and ends for sale, and I'm pretty good at fixing things, too. You might have noticed the very large building just north of here. That's Helios 1. The NCR runs the place, so it's off limits to prospectors. I have not. Um. Show me what you have for sale. Happy to do it. Uh do, 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 do. I mean I can sell you you know what, I'm gonna sell you your um It's got hundred and twenty caps right there. Show sure, ashtray chessboard Uh, 
Uh, yeah, sure, you can have those. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Now, um, do you, you need, do you have a, um, Uh Thank you. Pleasure doing business with you. Now um uh do you have any thrust control modules from Ratcon in stock? As it so happens, I do have some thrust modules, but they're expensive. Five hundred caps worth of expensive. Uh. Mm. Never mind. All right, then. Show me what you have for sale. Happy to do it. Uh, I mean, I'm probably at twenty. Uh, yeah, you can have some hydra. There we go. She took me over the line. Another satisfied customer. Now about the thrust control modules. Still got them. 500 caps and they're yours. <sighs> there you go. Sheesh. You're ripping me off, man. Pleasure doing business with you. <sighs> Would the dog rat me out if I just... Steal them. Back. I mean, you plainly ripped me off. Hmm. I want that key. And also I want that gun, so this could be construed as stealing, but I think I just got insanely lucky. Okay, if it doesn't do it this time, then... Oh, no, 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 back, 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 back. Don't want to save. One more time. No, one more time. One more time. One more time. 
This is gonna be lost time. I swear. Lost lost time. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, one more time. Yeah, okay, that's it. That's it. That's it. <sighs> Fucking... Wait... Hang on. Stealth boy. Yeah. If I have a stealth boy, then she wouldn't be able to. Oh, okay. Maybe not. <laughs> Okay, fine. Fine, 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 fine. Or... Or... I mean, she did fleece me. I'm going to hell. I mean, it's the wasteland. Shouldn't fall asleep in front of a complete stranger. Oh, now I have to kill a dogs. Okay. I mean, I deserve that. Sorry, Ray. But you did rip me off. Actually. How about I just... Benefit of hindsight. Oh wait. Okay, if I pick both of the body, are they actually on her body? No. Where are they though? If I can find where they're stored. Maybe I don't have to... Maybe I don't have to, um... Kill her. Maybe I just... Need to search around her stock in the middle of the night and just... Yeah... Not gonna give her her.
items aid uh, I don't I don't need the judge on me I mean, that doesn't have any armor at all, but that does your perception. Uh, I don't know. Screw it. I need to find these bloody thrust control modules. I think sh I think they're in a house. I think they're in that um locked locked box. I think so. What's around? Oh, but it's still 50. I'm going to get this thing. I'm going to get this thing if it's the last thing I do. Alright? Okay, I got it that time. Since I have a key, I can open this. 
Yes! Oh, hi! Hello. Hello. You know what? Morning. I'm, I'm gonna kill you anyway. Just because you're a fleecing old bastard. Yep. Oh, actually, I need to go back to her body. She had a really good gun on her body. I think I made a mistake there, because... Wait, what? Ray's brain? Why would I want her brain? That's... that's weird. Yep. Absolutely no remorse. You try to fleece me in another round, therefore, I get your gun. So, Lord of the Wasteland, bitch. I may eat some food. Stick. Pardon. I mean, it's a shotgun. At any rate, it will be good for selling. Wait, is it a pistol or is it a shotgun? I think it's a shotgun. Oh. Well. We only need three to fix thing all at. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do that to close out this part.
I'm going to walk. You know what? As I walk slowly to the um, shopkeeper to buy um, to sell some more goods, I'm going to call it a part there. Okay, so um, I did a couple bad things, but in my defense. She fleeced me for worth of 500 gold in an, in another life, okay? 500 caps. That's a lot. I don't care... What you did. I don't care if she's an old lady that takes care of like several dogs. She's a crook. Fuck her. I don't care. It's all of the wasteland. Anyway, uh, if you like this kind of horrible stuff, please like and subscribe. I um, do this every, um, I do Fallout New Vegas every week. Uh, yeah, Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, but if you join me tomorrow, I'm going to be playing some Cyberpunk. So, look out for that. I mean, I'm playing Cyberpunk just to get ready for, um, Phantom Liberty, which I am 80% sure it's going to release in the first half of this year. Timely on that. Same as Starfield. Although Starfield may be getting a little bit... Yeah. I'm a little less tougher than that one, but... Hey, uh, hope you enjoyed. I've been purist. Signing off.